the ideal start to in your house, but how, I guess, do you reflect on that opening win? Yeah, listen, it was a, it was a tight game. We, um, you know, we got uh, got ourselves in front, and then, as you'd expect, coming coming up against the a pretty experienced side with still a lot of Premiership players in their side, and um, yeah, they they came at us hard in the last part of the third quarter, and then um, we're just hanging on for grim death really in the last part of the game. But um, yeah, we. Uh, yeah, a lot of this footy club's done a lot of lot of work over a long period of time. They've had to make some some tough decisions given the um, position we found ourselves as a footy club, and um, it was just a reward for a, uh, a lot of people around the club who'd given support, and um, including you know Alan Ayler, who um, he passed away um, towards the end of, the end of last year, and um, yeah, we had a, uh, a tribute to him yesterday, um, which. 70, 70 years of decorated service to our game, pretty pretty special. So um, it's good for our footy club. It's great to see Marge Aylett down there and the, um, and the and the family connected to the club. And um, so it was a special day for our club today. What can a win like this do for such a young group, particularly so early in the journey? Yeah, well, I think it, it it gives them belief. You know, we we lost Big X in the in the first quarter to a to an ankle injury and. And young Charlie Combin had to had to step up and, and play ruck um, in an AFL game. I think it's only his you know, perhaps third or fourth game of AFL footy, and uh, we've got him stamped as being a key position player for us in the um, in the games ahead. And um, he had to he had to play a ruck role for the for the whole of the game. Um, so yeah, that's that that's the game. Yeah, we we, we took a punt and went in with one ruckman. One recognised ruckman in in Big X and uh, and left Goldie out and didn't look too flash at the 20 minute mark of the first quarter, but to somehow um, win the game in those circumstances, I think we won won the clearances convincingly and we won the contested ball convincingly, which is a real credit to the the guys who are underneath Charlie that they got to work and and he just provided a great contest for us. He and Hugh Greenwood had to do some work for us in that um, in that role as well because um, you know when Charlie needed a rest, we needed someone else to do it. And, Debate having a tall clapper, or, or teams pretty much always go with the runner. And speed yeah, well, I, I, outside of the, the the clubs like Melbourne and Fremantle, um, perhaps perhaps Collingwood have just got um, obvious um, strength in both. You know, a, a, a ruckman as well as a guy that can play forward for them, and we we debated that. Um, long and hard too, and uh, the fact that you know probably the run and the heat early in, early in the season. You know we tried playing two a couple of weeks ago against the against the dogs, and we just found that we had no zip in the legs. Um, so it was a little bit of a punt that we took by only playing one, and it wasn't looking too good when the big X went down. So to the credit of the group, you know the, the, to to still um, win contested ball and clearances when you know you 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 most. Um, well-suited ruckman is, is out of the game was a, was a credit to the players. What was your message to your mids when you knew in the ruckman? Well, it was a little bit frantic there for a, for a while. You know, you, first of all, you're trying to determine whether or not his injury is serious enough that he won't be able to return. And then, uh, so you stop gap for a little while until the assessment is made. And then once he's declared out, then, um, you know, we, we didn't have a hell of a lot of options, really. It was... Uh, Charlie, can you go and help us out there? And he, he got a little bit of support from Nick Larkey from time to time too. So, um, yeah, that's that's really important. You've just got guys that I mean, that's that's the game. Unfortunately, it's a it's a uh, it's a game that goes over a long period of time, and uh, especially early early in the, the season, there's um, there's usually some casualties in in terms of the uh, the physicality of the game and, and our players getting used to it. So. Um, There'll be a lot of players that have to step up and, and do different roles, and, and Charlie did that for us today. Harry Schuzel, Clarko, you've seen some good debuts. Where does that sit? Yeah, well, he's he, he's a, a pretty special talent for us. You know, we're not really sure where he's going to settle long term for us, but um, yeah, we just really really lack some polish in our in our back half. In the as it turned out, out of the Western Bulldogs game, we and even at different stages tonight, despite. Um, He's, he's good play. We still couldn't get the ball out of our back end as well as we'd like. Um, and not sure whether that's um, our fault or whether it's good good pressure applied by the West Coast side. But he did give us a little bit of that class, and we didn't have that against the the Dogs a couple of weeks ago. And then we put him there in the 
in the last quarter. Um, we just thought to ourselves, well, 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 we'll use him in that role again. Now, where he actually settles, I'm not too sure, but um, I reckon he might be starting at halfback next week. <laughs> <laughs> And yourself, I mean, big day. I know you played down, but how did you get through it, promotional-wise, etc.? Yeah, well, um, I'm excited to be back involved, and and um, and with a with a young group, you know, trying to um, trying to teach these guys really that um, you know, it's terrific that we won, but uh, we, we've got to have an expectation that we want to win every week, and uh, so it's not that we don't want to win, but with an expectation that we should. Uh, be in games all the time to uh, and genuine belief that we can win games of footy. So um, we've got a we've got a challenge. We play Fremantle next week. It seems I'll just enjoy this one, but that, that's the game. You've got to move on pretty quickly. Um, but we're really pleased to be going over over there one and one win and, and zero losses at this point in time. And um, yeah, we just got to learn to play four quarters of footy. We played two and a half really good quarters, and then uh, we just fell away in the last. Um, last sort of you know, 45 minutes of the game and um, I'm pretty sure if we do that against Frio and then their home turf it's not going to be good enough so um, but whatever was going to happen today I said to the players during the week win, win lose or draw uh, we're going to get an enormous value out of this game and we're just so pleased though that we did get the win. Speaking of value how much has Liam Shields brought to this um, young group managed to coax him out of retirement from Hawthorne but how much has he added to the playing group? Yeah yeah well the, the uh, a, a fair bit, to be fair, yeah. And, and you know, we had uh, three other other mates of his, two two of which aren't playing at the moment, in Darcy Tucker and, and Dan Howe. Uh, but um, but Griffin Logue played, so he and he and Shields have just just given it, given our club some real substance and spine. We recruited those guys, yeah, because we think they can be good footballers for us. But by and large, recruit recruit recruited them because they're just outstanding men, um, and that. Um, and that is nearly the most important variable that you look for when you're when you're recruiting players, and um, and hopefully their their influence and their leadership and their um, their quality both on and off the field is something that uh, helps all our players at our footy club. Davies, uh, Clucko, what have you learned about him over summer, and where do you think he sits, sort of in the pecking order, I guess, best eight or mids? Uh, well, he's a contested ball, ball, you know, um, and you know. He, he continues to take his he's going to another level. Yeah, you know, he's really, really strong for us today and um yeah, you know, clever clever with the ball. He just um you know, so strong between the, his his hips and his knees. He's very, very hard to tackle and those those guys are worth their weight in gold, uh, because they draw draw two tacklers to them so often because of their capacity to to um hold their body in strong tackles and um you know, Cunnington's a little bit like that too. He, he wasn't as good as Elder you in that space today, but um, they're both really, really valuable midfielders for us. And um, you know, our, our challenge is not just for Luke, but also Nick Larkey and Cam Zuha, there's um, Jaden Stevenson. There's a there's a whole crew of them that have played. You know, anywhere from you know Ben Mackay, who didn't obviously play today, um, Curtis Taylor. There's a whole crew of these guys that have played. You know, 50 to 120 games of footy. Jai Simpkins, another one. Um, that it's their footy club now in terms of raising the bar and seeing what they want to do with their with their club. Um, but part of that is for our coaching staff uh, and for them themselves to to recognise what standards they can get to. And I think all of those all those guys have got enormous potential to take another step with their careers, and we need them to. If if they do then that's going to help the improvement of our club enormously. If, if they don't, then it'll just make our progress much, much tougher. The injury to Tristan, how concerned are you? Does it look serious? And is it it's lower leg? But what exactly? Yeah, yeah well, it's, a, it's an ankle. So um, all, we, all we did know, uh, and all I do know at this point in time, is that he was not good enough to continue on in the game. So, uh, And that's never usually a good sign. So, um, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd suggest he'd miss, he'd miss some time with that. Um, with that ankle, but uh, we'll get a scan during the week and probably be in a better position to give an update on his um, on his injury probably on Tuesday. Both of the captains stood up pretty well today, Simpkin and McDonald. So how did you how do you see that over the preseason, sort of building towards the squad? And so how do you see that performance today? Yeah, well, it's, they, they just need to play their role just like anyone else. It's, it's just because they've got um, leadership next to their next to their name. 
Um, do they need to do anything differently? Part of the reason why they've been selected as leaders is because they have such profound influence on our group. And, um, you know, we just couldn't split them when it came down to the, the leadership vote. So, in, in a sense, we're fortunate that we've got two guys that can have equal influence on the, on the group. And I thought they were, um, they were both really, really solid and stable for us today. And, um, yeah, hopefully it's just a, a sign of things to come with both of those guys mentioned um, belief in the value of new faces. What does today sort of do for the cohesion of the group? Yeah, well, I think um, in in this case, you, you need to learn how to win. Um, and, yeah, I think, there, I think there was a fair few North supporters who were just thinking when, when uh, Ryan kicked that goal to get them within four points or five points or something, um, how could somehow we work find a way to, to lose that game of footy and... Um, just so so pleased that um, that we we hung in there and, and found ourselves a win, and just just know that we can work our way through tough uh, tough periods of the game. Um, you know they were they were well on top in the in the last 40 minutes of the game in terms of just the flow of the game. Um, we were well on top for other periods of the game, but um, for them to to get that belief that um, that they can get a win, and particularly under a bit of adversity, you know, young group. Uh, we did tire uh, tire a bit late, but uh, to do it without um, without a recognised ruckman was a pretty special effort. Just on that cohesion, is it something you can sort of accelerate, or is it just a week by week basis and sort of learning every single game? Yeah, we 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 know we've got lots to lots to learn, um, but um, yeah, we just we just want to challenge ourselves to we'll get a, a different set of challenges to get on the road uh, next week and, and go to Fremantle and. Um, you know they're a very, very good side, and uh, a side that have um, you know shown us the path over the last three or four years of what a side is capable of doing if they could get stable and um, and get on their journey together, and that's what we're searching to do. So uh, we're tracking a, a couple of years behind them, um, but that's where that's where we want to go. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thanks.